Welcome back to the baby. Welcome back to the basement yard. How's everyone doing? Frank, how are you going? How, his, what are you doing? Are you supposed stretching. to be like a, a spider or something? You know, I was going for a spider. A Latino spider? I was going for a d- d- spider. Is there a difference between Latino and Hispanic? No, right? Ah, you're asking the wrong person. I'm asking the right person. <laughs> I don't know. I think la- la- Latinx is now a thing, too. What's that? It's like you don't call Whoa, someone... Whoa, is that something with, like, magic? No. That sounds like it is, though, yeah, right? Latinx? Yeah. No, it's it's like now, like, people don't want to be Latinos or Latinas. They want to be have... Latinx. Yeah, they want to be, you know, like a, a separate is that not classification. La- Latinx? No, uh, there's no A in there. Like, in that show Dave, he calls it Latinx. Oh yeah, oh, yeah, 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 yeah. So it's just, I guess it's a gender neutral way to refer to, you know, people in the Latin American, you know, heritage. I was just wondering if there was like a. Yeah, you were, you know, you were wait, asking it, the right wait, person. Wait, 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 wait. No, yeah, because his spe- Wait, never mind. I don't know. This is going to sound super it's dumb. T- it's, uh, I'll be honest with you. It's even confusing for me because Spanish is it's from Spain. Spain. But yeah, you wouldn't call like a Mexican person Spanish. But they speak Spanish. It's 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 honestly it's a difficult car- like classification for me. It's all mixed up. Like you can just call them like where they're from. You know what I Peeps. mean? Or just hey call them person. Hey, yeah, man, you got a name. You know, I'm not identified by my my father's nationality because realistically, like I was born in America. Right. Yeah. So yeah, yeah. technically, I'm American. You got nothing going on. Yeah, nothing, you know? nothing. Me neither. Nothing me neither. good. Yeah, I'm just a white piece of shit. Yes, you are. With no culture. I've said that for a while. I don't know. I don't, <laughs> I don't have anything that like people are like, "Oh, you're Italian." I'm like, "Yeah, but no." You don't. You are the most I got Americanized nothing. person. Like you, like really, like eat anything. But, I literally like, don't, have no tradition. You don't. Yeah, you don't have tradition. I have nothing. You need to start making traditions. Joe. I need to. I feel like I. I haven't even like. You know, flown a flag of mine, or like you know, you like when the flag. world when the World Cup comes around, I root for the United States because yeah, yeah, no, but, but like if Italy's still in it because they're good. In two thousand six, you were on Italy's side. I mean, they were in the the fucking finals. They like. won, didn't they? Oh, oh they, they won. That's they the year they won. Yeah, penalty kicks. Come yeah. on, yeah. Gianna Bovon! Whatever yeah. the fuck his name is, I forget. I remember that was when we made it. Remember we made a video on that, and I kicked a ball and I yelled cannolis, and you fucking pissed your pants. Yeah, man. That was a good one. Subtle racism as like a 12-year-old? See, this is the thing. You can't be racist to white people. I know, but... It's, I just want to make sure everyone but it's knows funny that. funny to say. People call it like reverse racism. Look up what... Yo, you're going to get flamed, by the way, by some proud boy for saying that. Uh-oh. Know? Yeah, man. Well, they're standing by. They're coming. They're in the wings waiting. <laughs> Fucking ye and also ha. Oh, God. They're getting ready to <laughs> ye all over our ha's, all right? Let Dude, me tell you. Honestly... Our ha-ha's, our hoo ha's. It's been a while since I yeehawed, and I miss it. Yeah, I didn't see. I didn't realize it. I had to do my research after that. Proud Boys is a white supremacist. They have ties to white supremacists and white nationalists. I don't. I literally don't know. I just. I'm afraid of anyone who like. So this is gonna sound stupid. Yeah, well, <laughs> I'm ready. I'm afraid of anyone who like really believes in something. Like, I just don't like that. You know what? I I agree. Like, I hate people who believe in shit. Like, the people that, like, believe in something to, like, the degree that they're going to fucking do something about it. It's the same thing of, like, I don't know if I asked you this or someone else, but I said, like, yo, girl, your dreams, right? You meet her. She's beautiful. You're on a date. She's funny as hell, whatever. And then you take her home. I mean, you go to her place, and you open the door, and the whole thing is, like, unicorn, like, themed. You'd be like, ew. ew." Like, what is this? Like, this, this is the thing. I, I'm all supportive for people that have a belief and believe in something. It's admirable. But there's a certain level, a threshold yeah. that when it crosses, it's it's no longer like admirable and it's kind of fucking creepy. Yeah, like, it's yo, like, dude, chill. Listen, yo, you could be all into like fucking, you know, like pegging. But like if I walk into your room and you have just like dildos strapped to the wall. Yeah, you have a, you have a chandelier made of strap-ons. Then we're going to... Well, I have a couple questions before I get to the, the right. ultimate one, which would be... Why so obsessed? You know what I mean? Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Uh, but that's the thing. So, like, anyone who, like, you know, is in, like, a group and they want to, like, real and they, like, f- they have flags. And everywhere. I'm not, dude, like, like, here's the thing, right? So, like, uh, if whatever, you love I mean, something enough to fly a flag about it, tah, chill. Yeah, what are we, take pirates it, with this flag take, stuff? Take it I'm easy. Take it easy with the flag. Yeah, that was the pirates. Little. And it's not that I, like, listen, I love, I love America. I love the country. I think the flag looks pretty cool, too. But I will say this. Anyone who, like, is going to the beach... And packs a flagpole, 
and a flag in there with all the children just to fly a flag at a beach? Dude, it take it down a notch. You need, to, you need to chill out. Like, there's very few things in my life that I have liked enough to, like, th- like show off that much. You know what I mean? And that's including, like... Sneakers? Yeah, like, well, that's a very... I don't know. Random. <laughs> I feel like you were really into sneakers at one point. I was never really into sneakers. Mm. I got ridiculed for the fact that I wasn't into sneakers. A girl broke up with me because, I, quote unquote, I had no style. Fire, dude. dude who was that? She got fl- I got flamed. Drop her name right now. I'm not going to drop her drop name. Drop her name right now. It's Rain. <laughs> Damn it, she had fire kicks though. She did, dude. She played ball. She knew her shit. She balled up super hard. Damn, she she slammed dunks on you. She slammed dunks because you didn't have any dunks. I remember as clear as day. It it was like really fucking heartbreaking to me. I was like really upset about it. That's fire. And I and I remember like a couple years ago we had like reconnected and like you know like chatted up a little bit and I reminded her and she felt so bad. She's like, I'm so sorry. I was like, look, it's fine. Like. It's not a big deal. You broke my heart when I was in eighth grade or whatever. And then you sent her a picture of your new shoes. And like, then, see? No. <laughs> I, but I remember that that was around that time, maybe a year before or earlier, that I bought the only pair of Jordans I've ever had in my life. Which ones? The orange eights. Fire. You bought, a, bought orange ones. I did. Nice. I bought a pair of orange eights, and they were they were nice. They were heat. Yeah. They as were the, As the children would say. As the children would say, they were lit. They were lit. But, uh, yeah, so... Um, how did we get to this? I have no idea. I, mean, I have no idea. What the fuck were we talking yeah, about? Yeah, I talking just about dropped Rain. your name. Damn. That's dope. Rain, I hope you're doing well. Dude, what a fire name. She could be a wrestler or some shit. That's a really cool name. I think it's a really, really cool name. And, yeah. and it was spelled with a Y. Oh, even cooler. That's kind of fucking cool. Yeah, I mean, at that point, that could be like the name of like, you know, I'm thinking of like wrestlers or... Uh, it could be like a porn star's name, but also like a bird. Like I feel like name. Well, a like bird we range. all know, the coolest letters are the ones at the end of the alphabet. X, Y, Z. You add them into anything to make it cool. X, dream. Just an X. Boys. Boys. Y and Zs. Yeah. Hardy boys. You know what I mean? Like that yeah. makes it even more cooling. Or dis sucks. Dis sucks. D i s z sucks. Yeah. S u x x. Dis sucks. Dis sucks. Yeah. Fucks. F-U-X. Fucks was so cool, man. I used to drop mad fucks. Dude, a lot of fucks. Yeah. <laughs> you dropped a lot of fucks. Dude, a lot of fucks. Yeah, so. Um, but what were we talking about? Get your heart out. I'm wearing Skecher boots now. Yeah, it didn't help. <laughs> I really wish it broke his heart sooner. Uh, maybe that would have done something. Um, but we got to your shoes. Why did you bring that up? Fuck, man. Uh, we got somewhere. Bad I don't know. Time. But something that we should probably bring up is yeah. the Patreon. Patreon.com slash The Basement Yard. You're definitely going to want to check it out. Get an uh, episode every week early. And you get an additional episode that people don't get access to. Um, every single week. Yeah. I, I've kind of dug myself a hole here, Joey. Um, because yeah. in addition to them not only getting all these great things on the Patreon, they also get the opportunity to be entered into a giveaway of $1,000. Yes. We just gave one, our giveaway. We just announced the winner. Courtney Commander is her name. Oh, what a name. What a fucking yeah. fire that name. Per- that, speaking of pegging. You yeah, know. <laughs> I know. So, Courtney Commander. I hope she's of age, and we're talking about. It. Yeah, that would be. Yeah. <laughs> but uh, I've dug myself this hole. First, I get pegged, dude. Do you know how fucking Did much? You say you get pegged by eggs. Oh, oh. I she, like first I got pegged. I was like, what? <laughs> what? By eggs? You remember? Yeah, yeah. I, no, I remember. Do you know how fucking much pain I was in? My forearms were killing me for like three days. I'll get to be honest. I thought the eggs would break. I did too, but I guess it, it motivated me to lose some weight. I had a little too much fluffiness on me, if you know what I mean. Okay. It's like it's like a purple mattress or something. This is, I guess, a cheap plug. Um, <laughs> like, you know those videos where they, like, step on eggs on purple mattresses yeah, and they yeah. don't break? That's like, like, oh. That's like my body right now. Yeah. But, uh, yeah, make sure you go check it out. Patreon.com slash The Basement Yard. I remember what we were talking about now. Uh-oh, what? We were talking about people who believe in shit. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I so don't believe in... Yeah, so that's only my thing that I was going to make that correlation. It's like, you know, I, I just... People who would really believe in stuff, they scare me, and like I don't really. But it's all people too. Listen, I'm a Yankee fan. People that have like rooms that are like pinstripes. Oh, like take it easy, dude. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. I, like, it's I, a little much. When I was a kid, I I'm glad you I named got... your kid Derek Jeter, dude. Chill. Yeah, I'm what? glad I got talked out of this. Um, when this I was is a kid, be good. <laughs> I wanted to paint my room with, um. The three, like three of the walls of my room, were going to be painted with the flags of my three, like parents. I'm glad I got talked a out. Greek of it. Flag? A Greek flag, a Greek flag, a Colombian flag, and the Egyptian flag. Yeah, I, I'm glad I got talked out of it. 
Who was going to paint them? But that that was the other question. It was probably going to be me. Wasn't good that would have came it out great. <laughs> <laughs> a mean, lot of people don't know this, but Frankie's very artistic. <laughs> Slow the fuck down, yeah, all right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I, could, I could draw. You could paint a flag? I mean, they're mostly just, like, the Greek and Colombian are pretty simple. It's just lines. Right, I mean, yeah. You know? I the, don't know what the Egyptian flag The Egyptian like. one, I think there's some intricacies in there. Yeah, I feel like there's, uh, there would be. I would have to look it up off the top of my head. I can't recall it. But I think I would have God, been. that was a quick but. What the fuck was that? <laughs> but I think I would have been okay. Yeah. Anyway, uh, I kind of wanted to talk about, uh, you know, you know the, the big elephant in the uh, hospital Wow, that was a really bad. You know, even you want need to, to really like think about your term. I didn't really want to say that. You because, did though. Nah, I didn't. Cause listen, obviously. Okay, so what I was gonna get at, I was gonna say the big elephant in the room, but then I was thinking he's in the hospital. I he honestly is. didn't even make mean to make. Well, that I joke. believe as of the recording of this, he's out of the hospital. Yeah, no, he's still like in treatment, but uh, D. Trumps has the COVID. Yeah. Um, kind of, kind of wild that he has that. Dude, he's old, so it's fucking scary. He, I mean, it's scary when anyone gets it. But he's seventy four. Even yeah, I know, and he's in that age bracket of the people that are the most at risk. Absolutely, it's scary. So it's like creepy, but like also, I thought it was weird because he, first of all, is like just taking his mask off and he's got the shit, just like kind of walking around. His Secret Service has got to be like, dude, come on. Well, they were. <laughs> I believe that. I believe some Secret Service officials were pretty upset. And just to clarify here. We're not going to get into the political anything here uh, because we're not going to do that. Well, it has nothing to do with that. It's just the fact that, like, the dude's got the vid. And the reason why I even wanted to talk about this. That's what we're calling it now? The the cool kids call it? Because there was a vid that came out of him. Like, I think it was like a photo op or something. He took his mask off and he's standing in front of the White House. And it looks like he's sucking for air. Mm, Yeah. So it didn't look too nice. Like, I I feel like it could have been... Because, dude, I mean, I, I'm not sitting here, like, hoping something bad happens. Never, and, never. Like, and die or some shit. I'm there are a few that. people that I believe, like, deserve to be dead. And he's honestly not one of them. Let's go through that list. Uh, I watched the documentary over the last week. And, uh, well, I watched it on Saturday or Sunday. Uh, have you seen it? It's new on Netflix. It's called, like, The Murder at Home or something like that. Did he kill a baby? He killed his two daughters and his wife. Oh, cool. Yeah. That like, guy should go down. You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah. I'm sorry if your family's listening. If you're listening, I have a lot of questions, but you deserve to be dead. Oh, yeah. Die that guy. Like, die that guy. Die that guy. Make sure that guy gets died. Yeah, someone go die him. And, like, it's sad, but, like... Wow, the cops are showing up. They're dude. coming. I mentioned I called Trump an elephant by accident, and now they're coming for me. Well, there you go. I mean, you're, you're part yeah. of Antifa. Antifa. That was actually not bad. It's not bad. But yeah. Also, yo, let me ask you a question, right? All this like breathing uh, for Trump aside, mm. um, have you ever seen the way that this guy stands? I I I think I know what you're referencing. I'm but... gonna bring up a picture on the uh, screen here. So look, this is this yo, is Donald what? Trump standing. This picture freaked me out. Right? How is he standing like this? I don't even know how that's possible. That's some fucking thriller shit. Yeah. Like, he's all the way forward. It's very Michael Jackson. Like, I, like that looks like he's actually three foot tall. Because I think he's a big dude. I think he's like six something, right? Really? I but think I so. Uh, but he, but it looks like he's standing on someone's shoulders who's bent over. <laughs> he looks, yeah, he looks like those, like, in the movies where they, like, put him on the shoulders. Like, the way I'm looking at this picture, he's shaped like a fucking Tetris, like, thing. You know yeah, what I'm saying? Like, yeah. that little block that's like, da 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 One know? more time? da 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 Yep. Um, he looks exactly like that. And no, he's built in, in this. He looks like he has the skeleton of the worms from Men in Black. He's just, like, legs are up, and he's just forward and bent. I don't know how he's, how he's... Like on his heels, but on his toes at the same fucking time. The exact same time. If this, I mean, to be honest, that's kind of impressive. I mean, I mean, thoroughly impressed. And if this is how we're gonna just judge him, this is pretty good. Yeah, this if, is pretty if, good. If standing like that is a, is like a listen, I. I'm this not making fun else. of him here. I'm very, very impressed. Yeah, I really don't know what's happening. I don't know if he's leaning forward. I don't know if he's on his heels. I don't know if he's on his toes. I hope that his fucking spine's okay. He's walking like every kid in a pool that got some shit on their back. <laughs> <laughs> oh! You know what I mean? Like, fucking, there's something on their back. They're like, get it off! What is it? I... <laughs> oh! 
And then look at this one. He's talking to I don't. Even, I think that's the uh, what's his name, Justin Justin uh, Justin Trudeau Tate over there over in Canada. I I don't know if that's him to be honest, but it kind of looks like him. He's getting very close there. Yeah, dude. It looks like he's trying to tell him a secret into his mouth. I don't know if he's saying something. I've told a person secrets in their mouth before. <laughs> Me too. Wait, why'd you say it like that? Mm. Yeah. So I don't know what he's doing here, but this is a lean. Right, so I don't know what's going on, but the guy's leany. He's very lean. He's really good at keeping. He's got to have like a really good, strong core balance. Like his hip hinge is probably you he's know, incredible. Yeah, he's built outward. You know what I mean? Like they go up and then he like goes out like a half a foot. The guy's an obtuse. Right back up. He's an too obtuse angle. This you guy. Know what I mean, honestly though, or like, is that a cute? No, he's not a cute. He's a, obtuse, he's obtuse is longer. Yeah, yeah, bigger. it's open. It's, it's opener. Open. It's he's he's like. People are usually just, you know, the 180. Is that what it is? Yes. 180. But he's a little, you know, he's, he's a little, a little obtuse, obtuse here. He's, he's a little, you know. I get you. He's working out like a 150. Yeah, he's working. Yeah, yeah. I would say one, one, 160 something. You think so? Yeah, I would yeah, say yeah. if this is 180, I yeah. would say he's here. Yeah. And if this is one, if this is 90 and this is 180. Yeah, yeah. Keep going. So this is 135. This is math, baby. This right? Is, this is just. So I would say like a 150. I'm right. You're wrong. Got you again. I think we're both right. Ah, I do. He is at an angle though, but I really hope that his spine's cool because like that doesn't look sick. But I yo, I always forget how old he is because he is super old. Is he tall, dude? I, I walked by so. the Trump Building last week dude, for work. Have you been by there? No, dude, nuts. Really? It is all like, just like the block is shut down. There are barricades everywhere. You can't get within. 50 feet of the building. Well, they're probably trying to like destroy it or something. No, I mean it's it's because it's. I mean, that's where the president and his family lives. You know what I, I mean? Think that, I think that... Don't they live in the White House? Well, the president lives in the White House, but, like, his family probably still no. lives there. No! I think they no, do. No, they're White House. No, I don't think all of the all of them live in the White House. Yes, they do. I don't think so. By the way, his kid? We're talking about a tall child, man. Which one? He's fucking Baron. The kid's fucking could dunk a basketball, probably. Can he? Yeah, dude. How old is this kid? Uh, 16 or some shit. Stop, Baron. He's making it up. I was going to say, No, he's, he's definitely, like, a teenager, like, a fully teen Google it he's a teen ager you can Google it I'm telling you man he could dunk a basketball so if he's alright let's check this he's right now he's a big dude I think he might be bigger than him and Trump's a big dude okay hold on hold on hold on Baron Trump also I just want to say this I was watching the Age. debate I was watching the debate and just looking at Trump and Joe Biden 14 says, years old yeah dude look how tall he is for Baron Trump I guess that people look this up because height was like the next one I'm telling you he's a tall fuck uh, Baron Trump height um He's taller than his dad. Yeah, dude. Trump's a big guy. Uh, Just type in his height. I did, and it literally brought me to something else. Ah, fuck that. Um, We're going to assume he's 6'10". I don't even care how about tall? Facts. This is from Refinery. For fuck Refinery. Well, I don't know who that is. I'm sorry. You know sorry. it's got to be real. Uh, Baron Trump. It's not giving me... All right, whatever. Fuck it. You uh, spent too much time on this, Frank. No one I'm cares. sorry. So stop looking at it! I have to now. I need to look at... Listen, I was I wanted to say I was watching the debate. Donald is six. Shut two. the fuck up. No one cares now. Okay. How long are you gonna spend on this? All right. I'm sorry. Jesus Christ. I was watching the debate and Donald Trump and Joe Biden next to each other. It's something. Listen. Two of the oldest looking men I've ever seen in my entire oh, yeah. life. Listen, listen, listen. A lot going on. Let me tell you, maybe one t maybe one day our country should stop being run by fucking seventy plus year old white men. Yeah. Let's not. Let's like can we get a cap? Like, on age? Like, if they have a low, you know, like, I think it's, what, 35 you need to be to be president? Which, why? I mean, I get that it. That makes sense. Well, is it? I don't think it's 35. I think it's 35. Is it? I believe it is. That's a good age, then. It's a good <laughs> age. <laughs> but, like, let's get, like, it's got to be 35 to 60. Like, 65. Let's like, push yo, it there. Trump's 74, I believe, right? That's old, man. Dude, like, if people he... could, like, if he wins, he'll be fucking... 78, 78, almost 80. He'll be almost 80. Why did that take me so long? <laughs> it took you a while. No, but dude, 78, that's like cutting it close. We don't want the guy to go down in the in the house. The, there might be a reality where the president of the United States, the sitting president of the United States, needs to wear male diapers. Think about that. That's how, crazy. How could you be the strongest, you know, or the, the biggest, the most important leader in the world, so we say, and wear fucking male diapers? And, and diaper. up, Listen, yeah. man, there's a weird way that world has a way of, uh, you know, humbling all of us. And it's diapers. Get, getting to be putting diapy diapers. That'll do it. Yeah, man. It's just kind of wild to to think about. Like, 
Because <laughs> what happened? Talk to me. I don't know, man. I don't know. This whole political thing is just wild. There's just a lot going on. And I'm watching the debate, and I'm like, I don't even know what is, is happening here. I will say it this. It just looks like, you know when you walk past a park, and there's old men playing, like, bocce, and they're yelling at each other yep. over something? That, I feel like I was walking past the park, and these guys were yelling about pigeons or Dude, something. Dude, they were I'm going, like, what are they oh. even saying? But see, that's, political beliefs aside, like, that's why Trump is very good at what he does. Because he doesn't, like, he is just, like, he's a troll. Like that's he's what he's more doing. Clever. He's very clever and he's very smart. And like that as a businessman is probably what got him to where he was in his success. We can debate his success, whatever, but like the fact that he was able to just like like you could imagine him in a board boardroom meeting and they're being like, uh, Trump and he'd be like, You're an idiot, shut up and everyone else is like, They they are an yeah, idiot. You know what I mean? Like that's that's fucking smart. I don't know, man. Uh, all I know is all I know is that I don't know. Oh. That's it. That's all that I know. You're like a philosophizer over here. Yeah, that's what I am. Philosophizer? Like Socrates. Socrates? Socrates. Okay. Yeah, you don't like that? I guarantee you that's what my dad thinks Socrates is pronounced. Socrates. Probably. I, maybe. What? Where's he? How's he doing? I'm afraid. You're I, afraid I'm to... not going to call him just out of don't. the blue because he'll pick up and say something. <laughs> the Spanish are back at it. <laughs> Your dad's not racist. Let's make sure we say that. <laughs> the Spanish are bad. <laughs> when were they at it? You know exactly when they were the at Spanish it. Spanish Revolutionary War? Yeah. Was that a real war? I made that up. I don't know. It might be. I hope so. I know man. there's a French Revolution. And there's the Industrial revolted. Revolution. I think everyone revolted at one point. At a certain point in time. You gotta revolt. You gotta do it. At some point. When you're living under the iron fist of Zaddy, you need to just go. I'm gonna revolt on you Dude, I can't wait for the day that me and Josh revolt. What are you guys going to do? Fuck you up. <laughs> We're going to fucking kill you. Just beat on you. Just I don't beat need, on your legs. Josh, dude, you know Josh is itching for a fight. Oh, he messages God. me at least once a week asking me to spar. Yeah, he does. He does. And I, I kind of want to do it because if Josh... This is the thing that you guys don't know about Josh. Right. Great worker. Mm-hmm. Uh, very horny. Like... Very like, remember like we would be in Miami and Josh would just just come into the shower. Josh is a wild card. He's a horny wild card. He, okay, he's horny. Uh, he's, he, you, you I follow assume me he's here. horny. You following me here, right? He, he, uh, okay. You might you might spar with Josh and he might accidentally like fuck you, fuck you. Yeah. And he's editing this now, so <laughs> <laughs> if there's like a giant, you guys are hearing it now. If there's like a giant missing gap in this episode, it's because Josh edited this shit out. He might uh fuck you. I don't he know. might. Speaking of that, you know, when was the last time you think Donald Trump and Melania Trump fucked? Ooh, I don't know. What you phase? The, what phase moon are we in? Half crescent. Okay. So then, oh no, we're a waning crescent. Is that what it is? I, Frankie, th- <laughs> I, why do you think I know that? I don't know. Because you've gone through a lot of phases. I wouldn't be surprised if Moon Moon Joe is in there. There is no Moon Joe. No. I wouldn't know. About I don't that. believe in that. Uh who? I don't know, man. You think Melania and Trump? Like, do you see her eyes? Her eyes. She's got pain in those eyes. She might need a good, you know. I, she sometimes she just looks like. How did I? How did this? I did not want the, all this. You know. You know and, what I'm saying. Do you ever see like Cardi B tweeted like you can find you can do the same amount of work to find me naked on the internet that you can to find Melania. Melania's just naked on the internet. Is she? Apparently. Good for her. That's what I'm saying, right? Take it back. She's a good looking woman. I think she's a good looking woman. Oh, absolutely. Yeah. But if she has actually had sex with her husband... I'm sure at one point they had to have had sex. That has got to be some of... But she's probably, you know, she's she's got a streak of not, I well, think. Well, Joey, let me tell you. Can you even have sex when you lean like that? Oh, yeah. Impressive. He could probably have sex standing up. That's true. I was going to say, that's not impressive. People do that all the time, Frankie. Fucking idiot. Not at, not at that angle. I don't know, man. He's a... Uh... It's kind of an impressive look, looking guy. We're going to get to these ads, and then we'll get back on track here, because I need to know if this guy is fucking... <laughs> Imagine you could look that up. You got it now. You Google, and I'm not going to Google when's the last time they sh- Why not? stuffed. Why not? Because it's not out there. How do you know? I don't. I'll Google it as you read the ads. I don't know, man. Actually, all you right. Google it so Antifa or the Secret Service comes after you. Absolutely not. Uh, all right, so the first thing we have here is Honey. 
Uh, Honey is a free browser extension, okay? It saves you money. So when you're doing shopping online this holiday season, you're on Amazon, you're on Best Buy, you're on Sephora, whatever you need to buy, it's automatically going to grab coupons from all over the internet and apply them to your cart, and you just hit a button and it saves you money. I've saved $40, $50 on one shot uh, sometimes. Uh, and it's free. That's the best part. So I, I don't even know why I have to sell you guys on this. If you want to have you want to have more money in your pocket, you're going to download Honey, okay? And go to joinhoney.com slash basement to do that. Again, it's free. It downloads in two clicks. It takes a few seconds. And then you're going to start saving money. I wouldn't shop without it. I have it on all of my computers so that I'm saving as much money as possible. Even on random sites that I never thought would have it, they have it. So go check it out at joinhoney.com slash basement to get that. Uh, next, we have BetterHelp. We've, you guys heard us talk about BetterHelp before. Um, it is online counseling. So if you were looking to talk to a therapist, especially during a pandemic, um, and you don't want to go out to see them, you can uh, do it from the comfort of your own home. They have talk, text, and video chat. Um, but yeah, you can start communicating in under 48 hours. And switching therapists is very easy as well. So you can... You know, if you want to just try therapy, you can go to betterhelp.com uh, slash yard. That is B-E-T-T-E-R-H-E-L-P dot com slash yard. Uh, you'll get 10% off of your first month. They have licensed uh, professionals that, you know, specialize in depression or anxiety or anything you're really going through. They will find someone for you. Um, but yeah, go check them out. Betterhelp.com slash yard to get 10% off of your first month. Um, but yeah, it's good for you. And lastly here, we have uh, Indochino. Indochino, you get custom fitted suits, coats, and casual wear at surprisingly affordable prices. Okay, you can customize everything, uh, the color, the lining of the lapel. If you want a monogram or whatever, you can get these uh, nice fitted suits. Because a lot of suits, you buy them off the rack, and they don't fit right. They're a little weird, and they're like maybe a, you know, a little big or whatever. I think it's a racket. I think they force you to get some you know, alterations here so they can up the price on you even more. But with Indochino, they go in there, they, they fit you perfectly for it, and it fits you, you know, really nice, and, and that's what you want in a suit, okay? So, uh, yeah, if you're getting married, Indochino is a no-brainer for you and your groomsmen. Uh, forget off-the-rack suits that don't fit. Um, you know, you order with ease, you get it shipped fast no matter where you live. Um, and their suits start at just $299, okay? That is absurd. With all the customizations included, by the way. Um, so visit one of the showrooms across North America or book a virtual appointment and shop online at Indochino.com. And right now you get $30 off of any purchase of $399 or more when you enter the code BASEMENT at checkout. That is Indochino.com, spelled I-N-D-O-C-H-I-N-O.com, and the promo code is BASEMENT. Okay? So go get some suits. Look nice. Look sharp. All right? There you go. Boom, bang, pow. Bam! I was just... Oh, fuck. Uh-oh. I just threw my laptop on the ground. I tried to throw it on my bike shorts. I bought bike shorts. Keep bragging about biking, Joey. We get it. No, I'm not bragging about biking. I had to... Because I bought a new bike. I did. And then I bought bike shorts because when I rode it, my fucking ass... Dude, or my man. goo... Your goo? My, oh, my goo. You felt like you got pounded out by a fucking Dude, eight it, inch big boy with balls? No. Whoa, no. I just feel like someone with like really, really like strong hands was punching my ass. Ooh. Like your you ass know? cheek or your ass? Like the gooch? No, my gooch and like my, my uh, what's like the, I don't even know, like where my gooch makes my, like my inner thighs. Very sensitive. Oh, like the... I hear what you're saying. I hear what you're saying. Yeah, it's like all... It's all mishmashed in there. But, oh. it's, but it was hurting so bad because the seat is new, I guess, or some shit. But I need biking shorts. I mean, how does this... You, you can't break in a seat. A seat is a seat on a bike. That's, that's true. But I'm just I'm not sorry. used to it. My butt's not used to it. Because I have that seat. So now you got seat. two bikes. I got two bikes. Good for you, man. But like, I got that seat. That seat doesn't hurt my goo. Can you just switch the seat? Do you ever try that? I know. Think about that. I don't think you can. Switch the seat, Joey. No, you have to. No, you could. Yeah, you can. Why yeah, not? you could. There you go. Well, I bought shorts because it's got padding all, all over your You got it. You got shit. it. I remember I, I bike I, every now and then. Not very frequent. No, no, no. Uh, my, my asshole literally comes out like I got stung by 50 bees. It comes out. Like not like puckers or anything, but it I'm saying like, in that area, it feels like I had just like sat on tacks. It fucking, <laughs> dude, it hurts. Yeah. My shit gets chewed up. 
and I have like a padded seat. It just didn't work. What the hell's going on? I just got, you got a, a sensitive. I just stuff. got a sensitive stoopy. You know what I mean? Yeah, I guess so. My, my asshole, my, my whole like lower body comes out looking like olive loaf. I feel like it's just disgusting. You know what olive loaf is? I like I can I like with context clues I can assume it's that it's bologna pieces. with slices of olives in it. I'm not a big olive girl. Oh, I love olives. Do you? <laughs> I fucking love them, dude. You put olives on pizza? No. I like olives. Black olives? I mean, I will put black olives on pizza. Like I'll have it. My my ideal pizza is plain cheese or pepperoni. Ew, why would you just call it plain? A regular. That's what a regular. Yeah, yeah. That's what it's called. I hate when I go to other cities and I order pizza and I'm like, can I get a regular slice? And they're like, cheese? It's like I was he- like, who's coming in here saying, can I get a cheese slice? People say or that, Or even a, pla- a plain slice I'll accept. People, people say that. In New York, it's a regular slice. Or, or a plain. You could, I don't, I've never planed in my life, but I, it is regular. I'll, the only time I use plain is when I say plain cheese. You know what I mean? Because As opposed to what? Like you know, pepper like, jack cheese? Sometimes people put wild cheeses. No, they don't. Sometimes. No, they don't. You never know. Honestly, You've eaten at all the pizza places in the world, Joey, yes, you know? Yes, I have. No, you haven't, you stupid bitch. Can you imagine a whole slice that's pepper jack cheese? Ooh, That daddy. would be kind of good. That would yeah, be kind of good. I put that on my seat and sit on that. Dude, one of the best pieces of pizza I've ever had is something called a cold slice. You ever had it? Is it cold? No. The, 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 the pizza is regular. Oh, cold cheese. But they put the cold cheese on top? I don't like that. Ooh. I had it Cold in. cheese not better than melted cheese. It's with melted cheese as well. Like it's a regular, it's a plain regular slice. Yeah. And they just they they sprinkle some cold cheese on top. There was one night I was fucking plastered mm-hmm. in uh, in uh, where was I in Long Island Huntington? And at the end of the night we went Huntington? there. Huntington? Where were you hanging out with fucking? I was hanging out with uh, some friends I have. Me and Espo went. and We hung out with some people. Uh, yeah, it was a whole. Did you guys play ladder golf? Get the fuck out of here. <laughs> No, but is there we, anything wider than ladder golf? No, no, no. Regular golf, maybe. Uh, no, no. Ladder golf is like, I'm in the parking lot, and we're gonna see Bruce. No, no. and then you know, <laughs> the the new the new drinking game that has taken over is the whitest game ever. Is beer die? Beer die is the whitest game ever. Beer die is fun. It's so much fun. I've only played it one time. It's very, very white. Very, very white. You know exactly what I'm talking about. Yeah. It's just white people throwing dice at a table and drinking beer. Or, in your case, White Claws. Dude, they're I'm they're not ready good. to talk about how much I hate White Claws. I mean, I haven't been drinking them that much anymore. I'm on a whiskey kick. Oh, yeah. good for you. I, I'm off the sauce for a little bit. Yeah, I remember you were telling me that. But yeah. I'm, just, I'm trying to, like, uh, conserve my body. There and, you go. And calories. Uh, so, like, drinking, like, a beer is, like... 250 calories I mean, the fuck it is I hate to tell you this it's, alcohol is all sugar which gets converted into fat it's the same shit well I'm saying I'm drinking less if I'm drinking whiskey than Fair. I would be slamming beers Fair. yeah we would be we would throw them beers back oh my god who do you think realistically 24 case of beer who do you think if we were to get let's say we were to get you talking about us racing drinking case race who would win me or you you really 100% I feel like if it's but it, dude, dude, when you get drunk, you're a disgusting freak. <laughs> <laughs> Hold on. No, I think that you could definitely, you know, I think that I could, you know, be fine and drink them. I'm not ignoring what you just fucking said. Yeah. How am I a disgusting freak when I that drink? That was a joke. Oh. But it, it was more. But you are. You, sometimes you get drunk and you're a liability. I'm not. I'm never a liability. He refuses to I'm say I'm not a liability. I'm a lot of fun. I'm a liar fun to be. No, you're not a lot of fun to be. I am a lot of fun you're to a li- be. You're a liar. This is dangerous, B. No, I've never a liar. This is a danger, B. Yeah. Never. Tell me one scenario. No, I'm not going to talk about Come it. Come on. <laughs> Come on. I mean, listen, I've done very dumb things. He sprayed a child. Okay, with, hold on. Hold with, on. Hold on. Hold fucking, on. Hold with, on. Hold suntan on. lotion a child okay that was an accident and it was also in las vegas i'll give you some leeway there <laughs> but a you, lot of leeway there but Joey. you sprayed a random child listen to me with suntan lotion listen to me that he was, was about that was an accident 10 that was an accident in front of his padre it was an accident it was a on purpose no it wasn't yes it was <laughs> No, it was not. It was an on-purpose spray. Uh, I I am a lot of fun when I drink. 
Joey, you want to talk about when we get what we drink? Joey, you become beer muscles, Joe. This is made up. You know you become beer muscles, Joe. No, I don't. I'm not saying you're incorrect in the mo in the moments you've had to become beer muscles, Joe. So then that would completely... But you, you're beer muscles. Yo, you're like, yo. That's not true. Yo, yeah, man. No, you want to... <laughs> <laughs> you so badly want me to just like be this... I'm not that guy. You... You, you when, have when have I caused a fight? Ever. I'm never saying you caused a fight. That would be beer muscles. But no, no, not necessarily. That would be beer muscles, but that doesn't mean that anything outside of that is not beer muscles. Like you're like, you'll be hanging out and like, you'll be like, yo, Joey, like, I remember one day as clear as fucking day. I'll bring it up. I'm Bingo. Not, I'm not going to like this. Bingo. Fucking, we were watching the, it was McGregor. I think it was McGregor Mayweather at your old place in Long Island City. And me, you, our buddy Eric and our buddy Boss were on the roof drinking heavily and smoking a cigar. And you oh boy. and Eric were going back and forth. Let me just say this. When I add a cigar to this body, <laughs> it's a long it's fucking a night, <laughs> dude. One time I got so drunk and smoked a cigar, smoked a cigar and... I don't know if this has an effect on like on anyone else, but when I'm drunk and smoke a cigar, my feet turn to cement, <laughs> and I literally couldn't move them. I couldn't move. My, I couldn't pick my feet up. Footed, dude. I could. I had to slide my feet. Just cut it out. I. You might have smoked something else, Joey. I don't know what it was. Someone probably put something in there. We got laced. But dude, I was just. I couldn't move my feet. I couldn't. I was like, you what also. Is going on? You also. And I've caught you doing this. You've smoked black and milds. Yeah, I have. <laughs> that's fucking disgusting. <laughs> yeah, that's gross. If you're gonna smoke a cigar, smoke a cigar. Yeah, yeah, I've slammed a black. You slammed. Floor. You crushed yeah. a wood tip, fucking <laughs> red wine flavored black and mild. Red wine. <laughs> you definitely have, Joey. No, 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 they're only like the vanilla or whatever the fuck. Oh, is. disgusting. They yo, they smell so good though. So good. They smell like like Nesquik. My dad, one of the times he quit smoking. <laughs> they smell like your dad. <laughs> Well, I, I guess I get connected to. Oh, they smell like my dad. My, my dad. dad. My dad once. Uh, one of the times he quit smoking, he quit smoking, <laughs> and then yeah. immediately at like chain smoking. He used to smoke cigarettes. I don't know if you remember my dad smoking. Oh cigarettes. yeah, he was a chain. My dad used to. My dad used to get free stuff from Marlboro. Yeah, he, like would that. Send, he would send. He would. He would suck him down. And he quit smoking, but then started smoking black and milds. And then told, cool. yeah, <laughs> told us, it, oh, it's the guys, it's not bad. Yeah, yeah. I was like, Dad, you don't inhale a black and mild. The only people that do that are fourteen-year-olds. By the way, for the people out there who don't know what a black, black and mild, mild is, a black and mild is a cigarette that someone picked up off the floor and put it in a package and made you pay for it. And with <laughs> and put a wood tip on the end. Exactly. And put a wood tip on the end. Yeah, it is the grossest piece of shit in the fucking world. But um, yeah, so we were on the roof, yeah. and you guys, we were all drinking very hard. And you were just talking about, like, you and Eric and Boss were going back, like, yo, honestly, I could fucking take you down and beat the shit out of you. And you were like, and like all three, I'm not saying just you in this situation, all yeah. three of you were going back doing that. And I was sitting there like, you all, like, Yeah, suck. but that's not typical. You you have a very isolated no, thing. No, I'm not saying. There I'm, was a UFC fight that day, and it was my fantasy draft. I was loaded. Yeah, you were very drunk. I was fucked. You remember that day that I'm talking about. I No, I don't. Oh, well, then, well, because you did do the fantasy draft that day, so you no, do. No, I know that. I know. I'm saying, like, I don't really remember this But what I'm example. saying, I'm not saying that you always become beer muscles, but, like, Joey, it's Joey beer muscles. Like, that's not, like, no, people know it. No one knows that. People know it. You just want me to have a thing. You have many things. I have don't, no, I don't need to give you things. You take them all yourself, you greedy fuck. I would say... <laughs> I would say my thing is like when I get really drunk, I get really scared very easily because I really like, dude. When I get really drunk, I I like I stop. There's a moment where it's, the second it hits me, it's not like I sit there and I'm like, whoa, man, I'm drunk. When I get drunk and I'm like, I'm fucked up. I literally stop and I turn to someone like, I need to go home right now. Yeah, you do. You do. The, <laughs> another thing you do is the Irish goodbye when you're drunk. See ya. Yeah, <laughs> dude, I hate saying goodbye you, to people. You up and leave. I remember there was one time Becca, me, you, Becca. I'm a and big Sammy. wave guy. So no, I, you don't even wave sometimes. Oh, when I leave, no, when I leave, I'm out. Yeah. But when I say hi, I don't even like saying hi to people. You know what I'm saying? Like, hey, dude. When everyone can hear me, and there, then when I leave, see ya. There was a night where me, you, Becca, and, 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 and like we were walking down the block, and you just upped and out. Like we turned around and we were like. 
gone. I don't, I don't know. I just, yo, I'm out, dude. Like I'm, like you I'm were, leaving. You were gone. Yeah, I'm. I am out. Everyone's got a thing when they drink. Dude, I Irish exits. I'm all about. You that. can ask Becca because she sees me drunk a lot. She knows I'm just happy. I'm fun. You are. I like to dance and sing. Yeah, yeah. You know, huh? Yeah. I'm not saying that you're a liability all the time. I just think that there's there have that, been times where I've been a liability. I will say that. I will say this too. On your bachelor party, you were really ruining everyone's time. That's not true. Yeah, you were. That's not true. Do you want to call Ryan Lynch? Forget about Ryan Lynch. We'll call the people who were at the bar that night. Okay. Okay, so this is so everyone knows what happened. Okay, no, 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 we no. Were Let me Texas. tell. Let me tell. We were in Texas, mm-hmm. and I know what you're referencing. We were at a pizza place, and I was throwing rocks at who? Keith? Okay, wasn't talking about this. Oh. <laughs> you were throwing rocks at Keith. <laughs> That's not what I was saying. Okay, the, the one that I remember <laughs> throw rocks is throwing rocks at Keith. And but like not like the story didn't even have no to no go no, on. no 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 not like throwing rocks it was like those like pebble gravel and yeah. and I was bent over picking it up and literally just tossing it at Keith's feet he was sitting right next to me and there was a guy behind him a table over who said hey man you're hitting me with some rocks you mind stopping all right no problem I stopped oh wait I kind of remember this I, I bet you did. And then I know what you're also going to reference is when there was the hula hoop contest. The hula hoop contest was when And I was... me, as a comedically hilarious individual... Who oh, doesn't care who, what anyone else is doing that I night. don't care what anyone thinks. At least give me that. <laughs> it's not about that. Let me tell you from my point of view. It was a very funny night. Frankie had a whole bunch of stuff in him. I had a lot of... Uh, alcohol. Yeah. <laughs> Let's make sure we specify. Frankie had a horse tranquilizer. Nope. Uh, so we were at a bar and there's like an area and they had hula hoops. So we're like, oh, this is cool. So we're just, people are just like hula hooping. It's a bar in Austin, Texas. It has a it has a slide. So yeah, and there was also a slide, which uh, we'll get to that. You know what? We're just gonna breeze over it. Frankie pushed people down the slide. It, whatever. Don't stand in my way in front of the slide. <laughs> <laughs> Push people down the slide. So strangers. So then when we're he's at the this is all on the same night. We're at the hula hoop. <laughs> thing and Frankie's hula hooping and you know Frankie can't hula hoop <laughs> all right hold on let's I would back say up. You're, you're a below par let's back up a little bit first of all one I wasn't throwing people down a slide I said push I was put I was not pushing people down a slide they were sitting down and I was giving them a love like they had asked maybe to send them down push nope so <laughs> push and then the other one the hula hoop if you want to call that a liability, yeah. good on you. Frank, I, first dude, of all, fr- first sh- of all, fuck you. I'm very good at hula hooping. Frank, no, you're not, dude. That night I wasn't because I was on another. Were, uh, that's the only thing I had to go off of. What do you think? No, you're hula hooping past. Dude, I was on another planet that night. It's true. But he went, so he goes there. And every time someone tried to hula hoop, he would just walk into them and pretend like he could. He he didn't notice. The, every that's, time. That's so funny. Someone's, someone's trying to hula hoop and they're doing mad good. And everyone's like, whoa, whoa. And Frankie would just walk and ruin it. <laughs> Like a piece of shit. (laughs) They set up a giant circle for like three people in the middle of the hula hoop. And they're fucking going. And I just, with my beer, literally would put my head up and like be like... And then not... And just walk in the middle. And people like had a good laugh. No one was like, this night is ruined because of Frankie. No, but it was like, it was a funny joke to do it. But after like six times. The 14th time. time. (laughs) It's fucking annoying. Yeah, but I, you, but see, this is what's unfair. Is that you're saying that I ruined people's nights. You think people's <laughs> nights were dictated off the fact that they were fucking hula hooping? Uh, well, I don't know if the people at the bottom of that slide died or not. They, Let's just they get the, didn't. I didn't. I don't, but I didn't see them alive after, so they could have died. Fair enough. Technically, there's a chance. Hindsight, we were playing with the devil and going out to those bars. For sure. Let I me mean, tell that, was, that was the height of COVID. <laughs> I, no, it was right before. Well, technically, it was the height. No, because the height came in like April. No, I mean like it was it was definitely it for was sure coming. spreading. It was co- it was knocking on doors. It was Mormon style. You know what I mean? Oh like yeah. it was getting ready to Jehovah, just like, guess who? Yeah. It's COVID. Here we are. Do you mind if we could speak to you about our Lord and Savior COVID? Like yeah. that was right then. Mm-hmm. You know? Uh yeah, but, that but don't was a good see time. that's an unfair representation. Look, there have been things I've done that have been very stupid. But Joey, I think you and I also understand I tend to be a little sometimes more motivated by the showmanship of doing stuff. <laughs> yeah. I so, know. like, bear with me a little bit. No, no, no. And listen, I get that. And I'm not saying that this is 24-7. And I'm not... And listen, I, you get... I would say... I, I will go as far to say... 95% of the time... No, that that's, 5% is way too big. I would say 99% of the time, I am the most fun person to be around. No, I would say... And then that other 1%, I'm even more fun? No. <laughs> a little dangerous. <laughs> I would say out of 100 times, there's 
a handful. No, that's where way it's, too where much. Where it's like, <laughs> come on. I'll give you three out of a hundred. Fine. Okay. And you know you got a deal on that. I do. <laughs> <laughs> okay. It's just it's just a fun time. No, yeah. I'm never, funny. but let's be very clear. I never start fights. No. I never like. I'm never like. like but he. But he's. Re- <laughs> but whenever <laughs> someone, Frankie has these moods. I have to be like. <laughs> I have to go up to him and be like, dude, chill, because the wrong person is gonna be extremely bothered by this, and he just doesn't give a shit. <laughs> he's like, cool. <laughs> Don't care. Like, there's so many times where Frankie could like, someone, like, if someone was, like, just wound up that night. Put it like this. Like, I, look, I'm very well aware. I'm sure there have been points in my life where people should have beat the shit out of me. <laughs> but it hasn't happened. And the reality is that with the way my life is progressing, it's not going to happen anytime soon. Yeah, I don't think so. I have a fucking baby on the way. You know, uh, uh, it's not going to be anytime soon. Right, yeah. But maybe at her soccer games. They were fun. Dude, I'm going to be so fucking violent at her games. <laughs> You're going to say drunk. That'd be so oh, funny. Uh, well, dude, I'm going to be so hammered at those games. Dude, I will be so, like, first of all, if there are, like, family, like, not family, but, like, if there are, like, parent outings, and it's, like, I'm not going to a parent outing, and if someone offers me a beer... It, you're you're introducing me to this. Hello, gonna have ten now. <laughs> like, get ready. You know what I mean? Like, <laughs> yeah, man. And and I'm, you I, know it's crazy. I think like we can we can put them back. So yeah. like, don't offer me a beer unless you have forty ready to go. Yeah, where's the cooler? Bingo. You know what I mean? Yeah. I don't want this six pack bullshit. Uh, but you know it's funny. Like when you're young and you go to like these games or you go to like wherever. It's like, why is this like adult drinking? Like now, it's like I get it. Makes sense. You know what I mean? Like anything. Yeah. Like for me, I do. I'd pregame a christening. I don't even give a shit. I see. This is my issue, Joey. Also, a christening, <laughs> baptism, weird tradition. Very weird. This is my thing. I will drink for any occasion as long as I'm not doing it alone. Literally, it's Tuesday. Frankie, you want a beer? We'll have some beers. I'm in. There's nothing better. There really is sucks. Unless you're an alcoholic, then you're probably you shouldn't. But be even then, that. I would say that they would agree that there's nothing better. <laughs> oh God, yeah. you know what I mean. Uh, so, but I'm it's just there's nothing like. I wish I was really into smoking weed, because then like, oh, uh, is that is that the, the the what's coming next? Is weed Joe on his way? Weed Joe is on his way. Uh, no, but I feel like being it because like <laughs> if you could just sit around and just like slam beers like for our friends who smoke weed, right? They do it pretty often. And if I drank as much as they smoked weed, I'd be a disgusting mess. See, this is the thing is I'm I know people out there are like, yo, being high is great, being drunk is great, being high and drunk at the same time, awesome. I don't know if I would want to be in that position. Yeah, I, I don't know if I could deal with both sides. Dude, because could you imagine like think of like how fucked up you are when you're drunk. And that's just from being drunk. Bring it to another degree, and yeah. then you have fucking, you know, weed in your system. Forget it. And then there are other people that also, like, you know, there are other people that also, like, like, will do, like, fucking coke. Like, could you fucking imagine? You got three different drugs in you. That's insane. Yeah, you're pulling your body in all different types of directions. Yeah. Yeah. I also wouldn't be able to sniff anything through my nose, even if I really, really wanted to. Really? When I was a kid, I remember when I was a kid, I would do the... You sniffed coke, Coca-Cola. Oh, you Joey, co- I was going to say, be careful. No. <laughs> no, Frankie, Frankie, I remember you slammed Coca-Cola through your nose yeah. once. Because it was a joke. Someone was like, oh, oh I was like, oh, because I love Coca-Cola. And I was like, oh, I'm going to do Coke. Yeah. And it hurt. And I think you bled. It was in Subway. It was. I didn't. I don't think I bled. Do you remember when we used to be friends with the, the guy at Subway? Dude, do you remember when His we His name were, was Monsoon. Do you remember Spanish Love from Subway? Hell yeah. Dude, this girl used to hook it up. You used to call her Spanish Love. We all called her Spanish Love. Yeah. Uh, we, this girl that worked at our local Subway, which, by the way, as kids, hung out in all the time. A lot of time at Subway. Too much time. A lot. And only got free cookies maybe twice. Yeah, I don't remember the free cookies a lot. I remember it one time. One time, I remember Monsoon. That was my boy. That was your boy. He let. <laughs> that was your boy. He let me behind the counter, and I was in the fucking fridge. And really? Let me tell you, that's a dope fridge, man. Dude, we they had got it dope in. fridges. We had it in. I, I there were times I used to go. My brothers and I used to go into Mr. Softy's truck, and we used to ride. Oh. Yeah, we used to ride in Mr. Softy's truck. Yo, one time my dad fucked me up because. Uh, I I asked the I was at the park and I was like dying for ice cream because I'm a child, 
And uh, I go there and I'm like, hey, man, can I just like pay you back tomorrow? Which I had full intention of paying him back. But I didn't have money. He's like, yeah, sure. Just like whatever. Hit me tomorrow. So then I told my dad that. I was like, yeah, he's a really nice guy. You know, he let me. And my dad lost it on me, dude. Really? He was pissed off. So he was like, you never do that. Like, this is not, you know, blah, blah, blah. Like, you think you're, I don't know. I think he thought that I wasn't going to pay him back. And then I like, ah, I got him. Yeah. So he was fucking mad. And then we heard the thing coming down the block. And he made me go outside. And he, like, held me by, like, my shirt. And was like, you fucking, and he made me, like, apologize. And I gave him, like, you know, whatever. And we had the coolest Mr. Softy guy in the world. Yeah, ba- was, Babalu. Babalu. That's his name, Babalu. Uh, we were just, like, he was just giving, giving us ice cream. He's a and- Greek man who looked like Albert Einstein. Oh, wow. You that know? is an astute observation. He had those glasses that would turn to sunglasses in the light. Yeah. Yep. You know what like I mean? Like Keith. Keith had them, didn't he? Yeah, he did for Keith, a certain amount of time. Keith had them for a certain amount of time. Very too. Elton John-ish. Um, it was just like, it was very difficult with like Keith because Keith had very pale skin and then yeah. his glasses would just get dark. Yeah, yeah. Real dark. Yeah. Let me ask you a question. Mr. Yes, sir. Mr. Softy, what's your uh, fucking uh, your, uh, thing? What's your order? It depended. I went through a series of orders, okay? Originally, I started with Great White Sharks. Wow. Oh, okay. Those are good. And those then are I, like lemon flavors, right? Yeah. And then I graduated to either uh, Licka Colors or- Oh, my God. Or Two Ball Screwballs. Two Ball Screwballs I've done, but those the gum at the bottom of a Two Ball Screwball- It's just powder. That's literally just concrete. It's I don't know what it is, honestly. You'll break your teeth biting into it, and then when you do, it's like dust. Dust. It's literally Disappears. just dust. Um, uh, and then uh, yeah, liquor color. color. Do you remember liquor colors? I used to bite the. I used to bite. Them. I used to bite the layers around yeah. and all the way down. It was like four times the or how many layers they had. I have a bunch. Do they still sell them? No, but do you remember those fucking ice pops where they would have the the Nickelodeon slime in them? Oh, oh those are good. So good. They used those to suck really the good. slime. God. <laughs> Slime is so good, man. Dude, I remember the. And you remember they had like shots. You never got ice cream? What the fuck are you doing? I mean, I, I now I get ice cream. Like, but like, I you was. You only were. You were a pop kid. I was a pop kid. I was the sugar over the cream. Okay. You okay. know what I mean? Uh, but I, I was, was. I was strictly cream. Really? Yeah, I cream. Now, if I get creamed, I'll go vanilla with rainbow sprinkles. Classic. 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 Boy. But like they had all the shit back then. You remember they had like the holy shit banana splits? No, who, no one ever ordered. Dude, I have no, I'm going to say, I, and I mean and it was this. expensive back then. It was like six bucks. I mean this. I have never in my life seen an actual banana split. In real because life. Because why? Yeah. Because why? Yeah. Ice cream and a banana. Yeah, I, Where's the split? It's not, it, it's because you split the banana in half long ways. And then you put it on either side, and you put ice cream in the middle. Dumb! That's a lot of work for That's ice cream. That's a 1920s fucking yeah, there's like dessert. Sody pop floats egg. What is it? Egg creams. Egg cream. Get the fuck out! My of mom there. likes egg cream. She's a dude, thousand. Fuck your mom in that fuck situation. Fuck, dude. Disgusting palate. Dude, call your mom right now and let her know that you'll never get her an egg cream in Hello? her life. Dude, egg creams are disgusting. And what is it? It's egg and cream, right? No, there's no <laughs> egg in it. I know, I know. And that's the thing. It's like, why call it a fucking egg cream? You know I'm not going to have it now. Get an egg in here. Get it, At least give me an egg. A hard-boiled egg. Also, root beer floats. Fuck them. Hey, man, two things should never have. Becca, Ice cream and soda. Becca almost got one the other day. We were out, and she's like, oh, I'm really craving a root beer float. And I was like, I'll find you anything else. Yeah, I'll literally f- anything. I will find $5,000 before I let you fucking do yeah. that. And like... Root beer as it is, gross. Take now we're gonna argue. I know you were a big root beer. You I'm were not big, a huge listen. You were a big no, don't fuck around and say you're not. Back in the day you were a big barks guy. Oh, love barks. Barks, you would literally I remember the joke with you and Keith is that you would burp the word barks and I would fucking hate every second of it. Listen. You go barks. I f- <laughs> uh, it's not better than cream. Like cream soda. Disgusting as well. Root beer and cream soda are great! They're, You're stupid. They are very gross. They're. What's your favorite soda? Coca Cola. Basic fucking whore. Yeah. I'm an American man, Joey. Disgusting. Because I have fucking ideals and also, traditions. Also, Pepsi's better than Coca-Cola. First of all, you're the dumbest person I've ever set foot in this room with. Literally, everyone's going to agree with me. No one is going to fucking agree with Give you. Give me more sodas you like, you idiot. I mean, that's really the only soda I really like. Orange soda. Orange soda is good. It's amazing. Yeah, it's also... It's poison. It is. There's like 90 grams of sugar It's in it. all poison, Joe. I, I don't drink it. I'm just saying. I'll take Sprite over 7-Up. Oh, by the way, if you're in your 20s and you're drinking diet soda, put dirt on your body and just go to bed forever. What are you doing? 
I love the people. Diet that- soda is for old men who think they're turning yes, over a new leaf. Yes, 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 yeah. I love the people that have it with like they're like I'm dieting. I'm having a diet coke. Just call it what it is. It's called also soda. Yeah. It's not that's diet. All, that's it. It's just also soda. Also soda. Yeah. Okay. And then you remember they had like caffeine free coke. What was in that? Soda. Sugar free coke. What's going on? Hey man, it's soda. That's how they get you. It's all that high fructose corn syrup. I like the way you said that. Thank you. But have you ever had a Mexican Coca-Cola? What the fuck? Oh, is that tequila in it? No. You racist fucking bitch. <laughs> <laughs> no, because I made a, a no, no, a, no, no. A Mexican mule. You put tequila instead oh, okay. of vodka. Um, no, it's just it's a it comes in a taller glass bottle and it's made instead of sh- corn syrup. It's made with sh- uh, like cane sugar, like real sugar. Oh, is it gross? Oh, it's good. So good. Oh, nice. So good. Yo, soda out of a glass bottle. Oh yeah! Beat me up. Leave me, leave, leave me to die. Beat me up. You know, what in I mean? no particular order. Glass. Well, in this particular order. Glass <laughs> bottle. Glass bottle. Can. Fountain. Because fountain yeah, soda is yeah, not yeah, real yeah. soda. It's bubbly. Ju- it's, it's bubbly water, water yeah. and syrup. Yeah, I don't like the way it looks when it comes out of a thing like that. Yeah. Also, those machines that are like, it's like a vending machine for like, oh, we have 80 types of soda. Yeah. It's like, bro, I'm trying to order a fucking a, a Powerade, and there's some orange soda in here. You, you need to do some hacker shit. You need to be in there fucking tick, 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 tick. Yeah. Like, how is this? How is this? Yeah, you don't need it. And no, who in their right mind gets fucking vanilla chocolate, you know, flavored Sprite? Like, no one. Do you remember when uh, Vanilla Coke first came out? I do. That shit was good, though. I, I don't like vanilla Coke. I don't really like it either, but it was good because it was in the new Do you thing. remember they had lemon Coke? Ew. They had the orange fuck? Coke. Oh, my God. Lemon Coke. I remember that. Oh, my God. Yep. Everyone died who had that. Yeah. It's gross. Yep. It's disgusting. Yeah. Um, do you like Dr. Pepper? I don't mind it. Oh, but Dr. Pepper's good. I don't mind it, but like, I, I, if, if I'm getting a soda, it's a Coca-Cola. By the way... I'm pretty sure on the packaging of, of Dr. Pepper, it's advertised as a, a cinnamon soda. Cinnamon? That might It might be. It's got a little spicy to it. I know, cinnamon. It might be. It might it's, be a little spicy. It's not cinnamon. It might be a little spicy. It might got that little cinnamon. But then there's like... The, you I, like Sprite or 7-Up? Uh, I just said before, Sprite. Oh, I don't really think there's a Or difference. Sierra Mist, because it's the same shit. Do you drink Mountain Dew? I don't, because okay, good. I've... You right. know. You know. Where right, I'm going right. With that. You've had sex before. Bingo. Um, <laughs> no. And then what was the other one? Remember Mellow Yellow? The fuck is that? You don't remember Mellow Yellow? No. Yeah. It's a. It's a. It's basically Mountain Dew, but the other version of it. Or the the blue Mountain Dew. Oh my god, dude! That was like for kids. Do you who remember were like staying up till four a.m. playing video games and like? I remember had when one too. When I worked at Target, they would set up end caps of like the new Call of Duty game, and underneath it, like. 12 packs of Mountain Dew and Doritos. It's like, we get it. Yeah. We know what we are. It's like, oh, play this video game and then literally rot out your teeth and then kill yourself with these Doritos. How much, like, <laughs> I, that, I had to stop having mixed drinks with soda in it because the syrup would fuck me up. Yeah, I would have like four Jack and Cokes and be Dude. like, you drunk? I'm like, no, I have an ulcer. <laughs> yeah, I wouldn't, I wouldn't get drunk off a of Jack and Coke now if I tried. My body would just fucking hate me. They're so good though. Oh, they are good. Oh my god, dude! Uh, look at us. What was that? You know, just being friends. Also, I don't know why, but my mom has Yuhu in her in her fridge. Oh, let's t- let's call it how it is. Not chocolate milk. It's just well, they can't. They had it as chocolate milk, and they changed it. It's just sludge. Bro, oh my god! Do you remember Nesquik? Yeah, I remember Nesquik. Dude, that shit is. Dangerous. It's like TNT in a fucking can. You you would put the Nesquik shit in your cup and then you mix it and then when you go to drink it, random pockets of fucking powder were just yep. when you're drinking it. And I'd be like, <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Do it's you, impossible. What, what were those fucking uh, shakes? Those powdered shakes that Keith used to drink like every morning. Powdered shakes. You don't remember that? They were like powder and he'd put them in with a cup of milk and he would stir them up. They were like a breakfast shake. The fuck? Oh, know. you don't remember this shit? Like, in sure? No, it, I mean, it, it was like breakfast stuff. He would remember. I don't remember off the top no, of my head. I don't remember. But, like, yeah, it's the same shit. It would be like a clump and it would come to the top and it would pop. And then you'd just get a fucking face full of powder. Yeah, it's like, Pff. fucking me. Yeah, I do remember that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Also, dude, fucking strawberry milk. I've never had strawberry milk. What the hell? <laughs> Are you serious? Never in my life. You've never had strawberry milk? Never in my life. Dude. 
It just sounds weird. Frankie, we know that, when right? I tell you, it's the best liquid that this world has to offer. <laughs> Frankie, it's so bad that. for you. I don't. I, I literally don't drink it. What is afraid. strawberry milk, Joey? It's not strawberry, and it's definitely not milk. It's not. It's it's syrup that's colored like a strawberry. It's not. But that's it. But Frankie, I'm going to tell you this right now. There is nothing better than strawberry milk on I, this on this planet. I could argue that. No, you can't because you never had it. I'm telling you, if you have, I'm afraid to have it because it's like heroin to me. And if I have it, then I'm gonna go down a long path. I'll be with I'll, my, you know, you know. Yep. I'll be in the fucking. I'll Out. be in the supermarket at Gone. 3 a.m. Just hoarding. Gone. It's disgust. I can't. Sometimes I would put it on vanilla ice cream and really fuck up my night. Dude, you put you put strawberry syrup on vanilla ice cream. Say goodbye to your fucking hole. Really? Because that shit is turning inside nah. out, but it tastes so good on the way down. I'm not a I'm not a strawberry milk guy. Frankie, not. We're gonna. I'm gonna make you have some. No, please don't. Mm-hmm. I'll, I'll ask you nicely, Frankie. I'm telling you right now. Like all those, like yeah, like I don't I don't want that. This doesn't sound good, dude. It's fucking amazing. I don't know. Yes, I don't know about that. Strawberry milk, not Nesquik. I don't know who makes it. Who makes like Hershey's? Gel- yeah, yeah, yeah. It's Hershey's. I was gonna say jelly. The it's fuck? the syrup, and then you put it in a cup of milk. <sighs> Boy, let me tell you the things I'd rather have. Dude, I, I would. You know that was, that shit is just like crack. My mom used to buy it. My mom used to buy mad weird shit. I'm a big caramel guy. I love caramel. Dude, I'll fucking. I'll go. To, I'll whore myself out for some caramel, and it's caramel, sure. not caramel. Yeah, no, enough of that. Yeah. Uh, quiet the whole thing down. But um, my mom used to buy us like. Two things always when we had dessert when we were younger. One, she would buy this fucking giant tub of ice cream that was like Neapolitan. Ah, uh, and no one would eat one side. The strawberry. Because strawberry ice cream is... It's disgusting. We know on, this. We're not trying to have fruit. We Let's know what we're... Yeah, out. we know that. So, uh, and they... I feel like they always put it in the middle, so it was very hard to like yeah. dig. It was very hard to dig. Um, but... Uh, also, if I'm buying ice cream, don't put, make it nine flavors. One flavor is fine. One flavor is good. One flavor is fine. The people that just take from all three sides at the same time. I don't know anyone who does that, but if people do that, run. sign them up. Sign run. them up for jail. Run. Yeah. Die that person. Die them. Die them. Um, but then she also used to get this like loaf. It looked like a loaf of bread, but it was sherbet ice cream cake. Oh, what yeah, a, yeah, yeah, yeah. What an idiot, right? See, I have a love-hate relationship with sherbet. I think it's disgusting. The only sherbet I've ever liked is rainbow sherbet from Baskin Robbins. But like, reg- like if you go to the store and buy like orange sherbet, it's it's gross. My mom used to do that. It's gross. Tell your mom she's gross. Yeah, I'm gonna tell her. It is the the most disgusting. My ice cream. I'm a simple boy. Okay, Briars natural vanilla with the little black dots in it. It's so good. It is good. But do it's you, all do you put like. anything on it? I mean, I could put some sprinkles or stuff. Wait, you don't put like. Caramel or like maybe chocolate syrup. But I can have that on a. You cone. see vanilla ice cream just raw. Sometimes, sometimes, yeah. Dude, that's fucking. But nuts. I would say I discovered the best ice cream in the whole world, what? and it is Ben and Jerry salted caramel core. Have you ever had it? Tell me now if you've had it. I'm gonna say this because you just, just jolted my penis. If you've you never that. had it, I haven't had it. But Ben and Jerry's, I'll I'll, I'll trust them. Dude, with my life. dude, it's vanilla ice cream. In it is chunks. Of blondies, not brownies, blondies. What is that? It's white brownies. And then in the middle is a core of just gooey, oozy, booey, dewy caramel. And holy fuck. And I will... it's like sea salt also, you said? No. Didn't you say oh, sea yeah, salt? Oh yeah, salted caramel. I'm sure oh, okay. I'm sure there's salt in there. Yeah, yeah. Dude, holy fuck. Let me say this, right? And I'm not trying to like, you know, this isn't because I'm trying to be healthy or whatever. One of the best because have you ever had just caramel and vanilla ice cream? Yes, and I just love like it. mix that up. It's amazing. Yes. Halo Top, right? Oh, yeah. oh, I'm gonna say this. I'm gonna speak this. If they give me a sponsorship, I will literally whoever is over there. If you guys want to uh, to kiss, make we can work. kiss. We make it work. Uh, but the Halo Top flavor of sea salt caramel, not the dairy free ver- version, because come on, I'm still trying to like get diarrhea here. Uh, but the dairy version of Halo Top sea salt caramel is insane. Insane! It's <laughs> that's my Hamilton for the day, dude. It literally tastes like you took like caramel and vanilla ice cream, just mix it up, and then it, they gave it to you. And it's only three hundred thirty calories, the whole pint. Yeah, I see. There's a Ask. whole fucking empty pint on the floor right there. Bang bang. There's Chicken literally wang. on the floor. 
There's an empty pint with... Is that a cookie wrapper in there? No, that's a bag of Hal's chips. Dude, you're crushing it right now, yeah, man. Yeah, dude. Those are not on the same night. I'll just say that. Are you sure? No, I'm sure. Oh, so you just leave your garbage on the floor right there? Sometimes. Okay. You know, as an adult, sometimes you want to... Sometimes wanna, you do it. I get it. Sometimes you just leave it around. I get it. It's fine. As you're eating that, I've been juicing. Steroids. Di- no. <laughs> Different ends of the spectrum. I will say, though, um, the Ben and Jerry's is like... I'll kill... I will kill... I will kill fucking people for this ice cream. American Dream, mad good. Cinnamon bun, fucking... I've never had the cinnamon bun. C- cinnamon bun, fucking uh, Ben and Jerry's. Whoa. Becca likes to feel better about her body like when she has ice cream, so she gets like the, the frozen yogurt. She came home one day with Cherry Garcia, and I had, to, I had to make sure she knew that I was upset about it. We've talked about Froyo, and um, she, I'm not going to get into it. She knows what she did there. Also, if you're buying Ben & Jerry's, you're looking at 2,000 calories, just so we're Yeah, all clear. I'm not like upset about it. Yeah, like, no. if, I know what I, if I'm buying Ben & Jerry's, I know exactly what the fuck I'm doing. Yeah, you're smoking two cigarettes. Bingo. You know, I'm not like, I'm not, like worried about it. If you're gonna go, if you're gonna, if you're gonna dive in, you do dive in. If you're gonna Ben and Jerry, listen, it's gonna, gonna be a, it's gonna be a long night. Yeah, you're gonna wake up at three a.m. with cramps. All right. Ooh, I don't know if I've done that. Oh, I've done it. Really? All the time. Your dude. body's weird. Very yeah, weird dude. place. I gotta fart so bad right now. You won't. What did, what did you that? just drill a hole into your chair? <laughs> You disgusting pig. <laughs> Born. <laughs> you even do, man. I think I have to. You know what it is? I gotta poop. Surprise, surprise. Joey's bowels need to evacuate themselves. Well, once you let out some air, then the only thing left between you and the poop. It's a warning shot. Is the you know the that was that was a warning shot. Yeah, it was like, like you know. Boom. Yeah. yeah, someone just shot a flare off like the British are coming. Yeah, you know uh, what I'm they saying? didn't have flares back then. But oh, well, yeah. you know, they he rode into town or whatever he did. Your, your asshole's Paul Revere. That's what I it get is. It. Yeah, the fart is Paul Revere. Yeah, my asshole is America. Mm-hmm. Yep, and the poop is the British. That's it. Just so we're all on the same page, and that is all for this week's episode. <laughs> Where can they find you? The Frank Alvarez on Instagram, F Alvarez on eighty eighty five, F Alvarez eighty eighty five on Twitter and on Twitch. If you want to come with me, hang out, play video games, it's a good time. And um, yeah, make sure you check out the Basement Yard Patreon, patreon.com dot slash Basement Yard. Get an episode every week early and an exclusive episode that nobody else gets, and then get entered into a monthly raffle where you can win a thousand dollars, and it's really fun. The way that you speak sometimes is just like insane. So you can follow me on Instagram at, at Frank Alvarez. Like, why do you do that? You're so violent. I'd like to be unique. You want me to be like Joe? All right. You know where to find me. Okay. You guys can follow me at Joe Sidicato. Go follow the Instagram at The Basement Yard where we post some clips and shit. Uh, also, like Frankie said, uh, the Patreon, patreon.com slash The Basement Yard. If you sign up, you are eligible to win $1,000 every single month. Just gave away our first $1,000, and we're going to be doing that, like I said, every single what month. What was her name? The Cameraman or something? No, yeah, not the Cameraman. Courtney Commander. That's it. That's it. Um, But yeah, so that is all for this week's episode. See you guys next time.